In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to build an iOS application using Codename One, building on your local machine. So I'm going to be using the offline build tools uh, project, which is uh, sort it's an open source project that's separate from the main Codename One uh, service. Uh, normal applications, you would go through their build server. It compiles the Java on your local machine, but then it sends it to the build server uh, to generate the iOS application that you can download. Uh, that's the recommended approach, but if you want to be able to tinker around and uh, play with the source yourself, this is a really good option. So the first thing I'm going to do is check out the uh, uh, offline build tools project from SVN. This is the uh, SVN repository URL. And uh, I'm going to check it out to the codename one iOS processor directory. I'm just going to choose that directory name because I've used this path before with some of my other projects, so it's just convenient to put it to the same place as before. You can save it in whatever folder name you like. And so this is just going to check out the uh, offline build tools project. And there we go. CD into that directory. And uh, you notice the build.xml file. This is the ant. Uh, script that uh, will do the install. So the next step you have to do is uh, run ant install. And what this is going to do is going to check out uh, codename one from its uh, repository. So it's going to get the latest from the SVN trunk. And it's also going to uh, build XML VM, install it on your computer in this subpath, and uh, give you instructions on how to start using this. So this is going to take a little bit of time because the uh, codename one subversion repository is quite big. You can see it's checking them all out. Okay, looks like it's finished installing. So the last thing, if everything was successful, let's say build successful here, and it'll give you some instructions on what you need to add to your build file. Uh, now I'm using NetBeans. Uh, so this is catered more to NetBeans. I'm not, I don't really use Eclipse. I'm not sure the best way for you to uh, try to incorporate this into Eclipse. Um, but uh, you've got this little snippet to import this uh, build iOS.xml file that's been generated in this uh, particular directory. So I'm going to copy and paste this into the build file for the, uh, the application we're going to build. Uh, the application I'm going to build is the kitchen sink application. Let's see here. Uh, open project. And it's nicely, you now within my, uh, the codename one iOS processor, this is the offline build tools project that I made. Uh, inside tools, that is where it is checked out uh, PD, or the uh, codename one repository. And uh, if we look inside there, it's got the codename one main repository. It's got a demos folder that's got a whole bunch of demo applications, and we're going to use one of those. Um, it's also got the codename one designer. We're not using that here. Uh, it's got all the ports. Uh, so for Android and iOS, these are great uh, for you to go through the, the source code of that to see how exactly it works. Uh, but for now, let's just go into the demos, and I'm going to open the kitchen sink demo. And here it is. Uh, the Kitchen Sink is just a demo application that they've made that uh, highlights a lot of the features of Codename One, so you can just play with them all in one app. It also serves as a, a good testing ground uh, to make sure that uh, the offline build tool is working. Uh, so, uh, in order to be able to access the build file uh, for a project, I need to be in not the Projects tab, but the Files tab. So, clicking on Files here, uh, where's my Kitchen Sink? There it is, and the build.xml file. Here we go. And I'll just go to the bottom, and I'm going to paste in that little snippet so that I'm importing these extra targets that I want. I'm going to save this file. Now if I right-click on build.xml, I can go to Run Target, go down to Other Targets, and up at the top here, it's going to have a few. It'll have build for Android device locally, build for iOS device locally, and build for Java SE locally. And those are the, the tasks that have been added because of this offline builds pro uh, project. Uh, so right now, we're going to do build for iOS device locally. Uh, 
And just so we can follow the output, here's the output field. It's going to do a whole bunch of uh, things here. If it fails, it'll give you an error saying build failed. Um, now these little things, note, fail to access this and that, those are just warnings and uh, they actually don't, or they aren't negative at all. Uh, there's a preprocessor that goes through uh, looking for uh, native stubs uh, to generate them and when it finds a class that doesn't have a native stub, it just gives that note, uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't find that. Uh, so let's go through. It's, at this point, it's uh, using a combination of uh, Javac and XML VM and a couple of scripts in order to uh, compile the Java source, uh, convert it to C code, and it's going to generate an Xcode project that we're going to open up. Once it's an Xcode project, then you're actually working with it just like it's a normal uh, iPhone application. Uh, you can modify the C, not recommended that you do, but you can look through it and uh, you can build it, you can run it on the simulator uh, if we uh, make a couple modifications. In fact, right now, I am going to uh, be uh, building it for the simulator just because I don't have a certificate installed on my computer right now for uh, building a profile for building to a device. Okay, so you can see here, it, uh, the build was successful and it has opened up in the background Xcode with my project here. It's indexing some pages. Now if I look at the kitchen sink under the application folder, it's got all of these uh, C files that it's generated. And this is all XML VMs doing. It's uh, translated every single class into a different C file with a header and a, uh, a, a main file. And uh, don't worry about the size of this. Uh, when it compiles it, it's going to optimize it and anything that's not used, it's just going to strip it out. So it, uh, it'll trim it down quite a bit. Um, so let's, uh, let's build it and see what happens. Uh, right now I've got it set to build for iPhone 6.1 simulator. And you're going to notice it's going to, we're going to hit a couple of errors here and I'm going to show you how to get through them. Uh, the errors are going to pop up because uh, there's some libraries included that are only compiled for uh, the, the device, the ARM, ARM devices. Uh, whereas the simulator runs on i386 architecture. So uh, it's going to reject at the linking phase and actually before that in a couple cases. I'll, sh I'll show you how to walk through that. So you can see there's 2,000 source files. This is all the, uh, uh, the C files that have been generated because it's not just generating source files for the kitchen sink application, it's generating source files for all of the Java SE uh, that is included with XML VM's uh, Harmony uh, implementation of Java. So we'll sit. Okay, we have hit an error here. So the errors will come up in this little alerts tab, uh, but don't worry, uh, we're just gonna walk through that. There's gonna be a couple of errors just because some libraries are missing uh, when we're building for uh, the simulator, which we are, uh, these shouldn't happen if you're building for the device. So the first one is it's complaining that uh, there's some zoos, payment stuff, uh, callback delegates missing. Uh, you notice that uh, when I clicked on this first one here, uh, we've got a nice opportunity to just not define include zoos here. So I'm just going to change this include zoos to not include zoos. You can change that to anything and uh, throughout there's uh, uh, directives for the compiler to just forget about all the stuff that has to do with zoos. So save that and uh, try to compile again. Notice that now we're starting with just 61. It doesn't have to compile from the beginning. It's just uh, continue on from where, where it left. And we've got another error uh, in the uh, alerts tab. So it's a linker error. And this is happening uh, because it's trying to find uh, the lib z bar, uh, which is used for uh, a scan, uh, for the, I guess, uh, scanning barcodes uh, with the camera. And you can see uh, with the error here, it's uh, the scan code impl, impl class is uh, trying to use it. So let's click on this little folder here. So we're looking at the files. And let's just look for that, that file. Scan code. There we go. Scan code imp. And we're not going to be using uh, 
a camera, we don't really have that functionality on the simulator anyways, so uh, I'm just going to comment that entire thing out, hit build again, and you can see it failed. I'm going to click again and see what the error is. Linker error. It's to do with ZBar again. This time it says it's in iOS native .o. So let's look for the iOS native file. And there it is. We'll open it up. We'll search for ZBar. And there it is. Let's just comment out this function. And we'll build it now. Okay, the build succeeded. It's now loading up the uh, iOS simulator. It can be quite slow to get going, uh, but uh, it will pop up. Here we go. And there's our kitchen sink demo. So we can play with all the different features they got here. Effects, uh, different themes, videos, components. We've got a tree component, a spinner, a table component. What else do they have here? Web services, camera. We won't use the camera, it's the simulator. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the process. So uh, if you want to start building your own applications for iOS using pure Java, uh, I know this looks a little bit painful. Uh, believe me, the, uh, the build server is much easier. But if you want to start contributing to the, the core of Codename 1, or you want to actually look at the code and try making some changes to the source and see how that, uh, that changes it, this is a great tool to be able to debug in real time uh, all of the changes that you make. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just uh, send me a tweet at shanna78, and, uh, or check out my website, sjhanna.com, and uh, just 